Well, I originally was um, interested in getting my law degree, and I felt the best way to do that was to get a degree in science. I've always been very curious and wanted to know about how things work. And then I took a soil science class, and I decided that I love soil science a lot more than I love the law. So, um, and then it just went from there to graduate school, and now I'm here. I teach two undergraduate classes. One is called Problem Solving in Plant Soil Systems. It's for freshmen and transfer students. And we take them immediately to the field to look at um, a cotton crop. And they walk through the field and make observations. And based on those observations, we build the whole class around um, them testing the different hypotheses about why they see what they see. So they collect the data. They learn how to put it into Excel and make graphs. And at the end of the semester, they make uh, each make scientific posters, which is most of their grade. And they present their posters to faculty and graduate students in our department. And then the other class that I teach is soil morphology and interpretations. It's also a field class. And I take the students out around Brazos County and Burleson County, and we look at the soils of the area and the students learn how to describe them and how to understand um, the limitations and best uses for those soils. They have to interpret that and, and then use their knowledge of how soils change across landscapes to build management plans for natural resource management. So Texas A&M has a collegiate soil judging team and students that have had my class or enrolled in my class are all eligible and what we do is we have a regional team, which is Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Louisiana. We have a regional contest with those states involved. And one week in the fall, we all go to one location. Generally, uh, one of the schools hosts the contest. And we look around that county and learn how to describe the local soils and the local geology. And then we have a contest. And then usually, Texas A&M places first, second, or third and then we can go to the national contest. And the national contest is the winners of all the regionals across the United States. And then this year, in 2014, we had the World Congress of Soil Science, and there we had our first ever international soil judging contest. And uh, the United States took the top eight uh, individuals from our national contest to compete there, and they won. And then they got their photo with the Secretary of Agriculture just recently for their win. So it was it was a very good experience to mix cultures and soil science all at the same time. My research is primarily oriented around understanding how soils change in space and how that change affects water movement. So we just finished up a project or are finishing up a project that was working on soil cracking and how when soils especially some Texas soils, when they dry down, they crack. So when they're wet, they have a very low infiltration rate, but obviously when there's big cracks, the water just runs straight through. And so we had a project understanding how cracking changes across landscapes and how we could use basic soil information to predict cracking behavior. But a lot of the other projects right now that I have are more sensor-oriented and less hydrology oriented and so we're using passive gamma ray sensors to sense the gamma emissions from soils and use that to map soil properties and then we're also working in visible and near infrared spectroscopy and developing a sensor that we just stick down into the soil and it shines a light on the soil and we can um, develop models to uh, map the soil properties without pulling the soil core and bringing them into the field or into the laboratory.